parties intensify their campaign seeking people's vote in various constituencies. Large number of people attend Chief Minister flag hoisting, Congress leaders conspicuous by their absence. Union Minister Jawaker claims Manipur will experience bans and blockades as long as there is Congress government. Anamuko celebrates 24th Foundation Day. Kaide Mani stresses need for a strong government to resolve issues in Manipur. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime News. I'm Janish Kaslival with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Now, as the 11th Assembly elections draw nearer, political parties in various constituencies have intensified their campaign to seek people's vote. Chief Minister Okram Ibobi today criticized the UNC for its stand on the creation of seven new districts in the state. He warned the UNC for trying to trying the patience of the government. Speaking at the flag hoisting of Congress candidate in Sagolban, R.K. Imo today R.K. Imo said he is fed up of the UNC's claim that the ancestral land of the Naga cannot be disturbed by the creation of the seven new districts. He said several communities live in Manipur and not a single ethnic community can claim the land in Manipur. It may be recalled that the Congress Legislature Party yesterday wrote the center to declare UNC as outlaw organization. Speaking at the cam uh, campaign, Deputy Ch Chief Minister Gai Khangam said the Congress has no common interest with the NSC and IM and its frontal organization, UNC. He reiterated that no other political party other than the Congress party can protect the territorial integrity of Manipur. Gai Khangam alleged that the BJP is working hand in glove with the NSI and I am and Naga People's Front is the political mouthpiece of NSC and I am. He said the NPF is an ally of the NDA government. He challenged the BJP leaders in Manipur to ask the centre to make public the framework agreement between the NSC and I am and the centre. Gai Khangam said the Congress welcomes any agreement that will bring peace in the state but will not remain silent if it, if it threatens its territorial integrity. Chief Minister Okrami Bobi also welcomed former BJP members who have joined the Congress. Greater Nagaland Sort of Kalitogani had an allowed you to go. Hunt a framework agreement. Don't leave up framework agreement. I said, Must carry talk at the gate, have a say, money for your claim. Put him up to work at the same Hali. Must it time bomb away the bra? No one know the Pokhara Kadra had a singer. You said, Must it lay in the lane? BJP the Sangi and Sang of Missing at the D. Maggie Wokal Londo. Kari Oram Gadege, I have seen my young, just stop you, I seven. Chief Minister Okrim Ibubi, who is the Congress candidate in Thaubal today, hoisted the Congress flag at his residence at Thaubala Thokpung Makhalaikai. A large number of people attended the campaign of the Chief Minister. However, the Congress leaders were conspicuous by their absence at the flag hoisting of the Chief Minister. Wife of the Chief Minister, Olandoni, son of son uh, Sur Suraj Kumar Okram who is also in the fray for the first time and nephew and Wang Kai candidate Okram Henry and Congress workers were present at the event. The Chief Minister did not respond to media query regarding the position of the Congress party in the 11th Assembly elections. There will be three cornered contest in Thaubal between the Chief Minister BJP's Laitang Thame Basanta and Trinamul Congress Laitang Thame Suresh.
Union Minister Prakash Avedkar today assured the people that if the economic blockade is not called off within three days, petroleum products will be airlifted to ensure adequate supply to the people. Prakash Avedkar was speaking at the flag hoisting of BJP candidate in Langthabal. Okram Joy at his residence. He alleged that the state government has not been able to end the economic blockade despite the center's deployment of paramilitary forces in the state to resolve the issue. He also said the state government has failed to utilize the paramilitary forces. The union minister was hopeful that the BJP will form the next government and bring development in Manipur. मुझे पूरा साथ विवाद पर लिखा हुआ दिख रहा है आपके कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में ओजय सिंह ओजय सिंह जीत कर आएंगे और 11 तारीख को बीजेपी का झंडा लहराएगा और 12 तारीख को बीजेपी की सरकार बनेगी यह आप निश्चित लिखा हुआ है विवाद पर मैं पढ़ सकता हूं आपके उत्साह को देखकर Union Minister of Human Resource Development Prakash Avikar today claimed that Manipur will experience continuous buns and blockades as long as there is Congress government. Addressing a political conference of BJP candidate M. Soba Chandra in Aurya Pakhang Lakpa at Haubam Marak, Lorembam Lampak, the Union Minister held Chief Minister Okrami will be responsible for every issue facing the state. He maintained that the people are suffering due to indefinite economic blockade. He said the center will try to airlift the essential commodities to ease the problem. He once again alleged that the state government cannot protect the national highways even though the center has provided 1700 companies of paramilitary forces. This blockade is organized by Imobi Singh. It is for the benefit of political party of Congress and Ibobi Singh and it is of Ibobi Singh that is they are the creators of this blockade and therefore he is not ordering the forces which we have deployed from the central government he is not asking them to remove the blockade jab tak congress rahega tab tak blockade rahega aur isliye humne nara diya hai blockade free manipur band free manipur corruption free manipur ek hi answer congress out bjp in now, BJP candidate in Singh Jamai Y. Kim Chin today launched door to door campaign along with his supporters, while Revenue Minister and Congress candidate I. Hemo Chandra also campaigned along with supporters in the constituency in the morning. BJP candidate R. K. Shiva Chandra in Kaishamthung also took out an election rally in the constituency. Aku lagi apun bagi sakti mama ut pagi ngasih celi bag rally esih na tak ibu di singa mai dah aku lagi aspirant kandidat mengal yang berdo aku lagi puna mak amat terus sahur kene hai bawa fomdo ngasih su liang dana lagi panik pergi rasmiti olak pada singa mai su show dana olak kene hai bese ngasih aina lock talk seri ngasih B J P isu mugi do show amat celi singa mai dah na aku lagi ya amna peacefully ya amna lame na aku lagi ya amna aku lagi singa mai sedi Hanya dari election ni tempoh si am ing na yang kian tana koi teng nai, adu na election ni si am free and fair, yang na amaga amaga hunda dana, yang na peaceful lagi singjam ayat di suksu suksu itu na aku pangtuk kene nak kanzai, yang aja ubah margin amaga loi na na ayu mai pahan bilak ni hai besai git, aje pat hasil zaman ni. The flag hoisting of CPI candidate in Wangling Tentha in Thaubal district, Haubam Robindro was held today. R Rajya Sabha MP D. Raja, convener of Left and Democratic Front Dr. M. Nara, former CPI Secretary B. Sharma, NCP President S. Iboyaima, Vice President Y. Iboyaima, CPI Manipur State Council member L. So Sotan Kumar and members of Wangjing Tentha CPI Local Council were among those present at the campaign. Now, in a new development, National People's Party NPP candidate Ngangumam Robert has withdrawn from contest in Singh Jamai constituency in the 11th state assembly elections. A BJP aspiring candidate, Ngangumam Robert, left the BJP after he was denied the BJP ticket and joined the NPP. The NPP yesterday announced his name as the party's candidate in Singh Jamai constituency. Robert announced his decision to withdraw from the contest today at a meeting with his supporters at his residence at Chingamathak. 
work. Some of his supporters even cried as he announced his decision not to contest the assembly election. He said he wanted to contest the election on BJP ticket but he was denied the ticket by the party. He said he resigned from BJP and joined NPP as per wishes of his supporters. Robert said before he took the decision, he discussed the matter with his election committee and workers in detail. He said he will contest the next assembly election either as the candidate of a political party or an independent candidate. Robert also stated that he will continue to serve the people even though he does not contest the elections. And Purna Chandra, who is the president of Uripok Mandal BJP, and several other members of the Mandal resigned from the BJP to support the National People's Party candidate in Uripok Yumnam. Uh, Yumnam Joy Kumar in the assembly elections. They were welcomed at function held at the residence of the candidate. Congress aspiring candidate in Thongzhu, Sanjeeva Waikom, in a press release said he will not leave the Congress party even though the party denied him the ticket. He said he will take part in the activities of the party. Now, former Vice President of MPCC Labour Cell Hanjabam, Jayadev Sharma, Vice President of MPCC Minority Morcha K. H. Manav, and Khurai Khaidim Laikai GP member Young Lim Kim have joined the BJP in support of the party's candidate in Khetrikao. Loitongbam Romain Kumar has been appointed president of BJP Uripok Mandal Imphal Central District on ad hoc basis. General Secretary BJP Manipur Pradesh in press release said Loitongbam Romain Kumar will hold the post of for a period as prescribed by Clause 7 of the Rules of Vacancies. Now, Naharo Leshemba Club has resolved their election related activities like feasting, hoisting of party flags, and posters will be banned in and around Thangweban Sinam Laikai. Speaking to media persons at the office of the club, President of the club Pratap Leishang Thame expressed concern that people are focusing more on the election, forgetting the prevailing issues in Manipur. <laughs> Any organization could be able to do it. We have 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 to do it. Candidate of Humlep, Humoman and Lawson, Bigis and Aviaro, Amam Rochester and Pigani, Adon Puntara, the Gi, Hena Equate, Lava, Amta, Laholoi, Aduga, Amaga Muga Pundana, Amaga Muga Tavana, Law Speaker Shinab, so I think with Tamani, I have a home sit on the Now, all Manipur United Clubs organization today celebrated its 24th Foundation Day. The event was held at Kwakathila Kam Lakai Community Hall. Speaking on the occasion, Amuko founder president and senior advocate Kaidem Mani stressed the need for a strong government to resolve the issues facing the state. He said every issue facing the state cannot be resolved by the political parties alone and the people have to play their role effectively. Mani reiterated that no political party can solve the issues of integrity and economic blockade. He said the government should lifts the economic blockade which has caused hardships to the people. When I say I am the central government, I go to the Mukta High Period, UMC to Handolo is there, as it is the Yonk to Bawane. Central government is not only the UMC is the right to live in Manipur. When I say I am ever say Nagaland, Nagaland is the Mukta Waris Hananabani, Manipur to live in Punamuk, Manipur to live in Manipur to live in Muslim, Punamuk Kilam Nava. Ado, sih kita nak sedi, aku ini jati gini, hai belum, hai berdi, matu ayam ni ada bapak nama gua. Konstitusi mana hai ni berdi, land does not belong to individual or community. 
President of Kuki NP Manipur, Thang, Thang Kusai Haukip, said Manipur has the potential to become the be best state among the northeastern states. He regretted that the mistrust and disunity among the communities has threatened the growth of the state. Thang Kusai Haukip urged the people to ponder over the situation and strive for the integration of the state. Amuko presented gifts to the families of its deceased members. problem <laughs> Not only blame game, issue. Yeah, I am one of the person responsible for the problem of Manipur. I see that the solution lack there. Now, the unidentified person of, uh, who was thrashed by locals after he was caught stealing from a house at Khurai Thaudam Lekai on the 31st of last month died in Rims yesterday. He died before the police could establish his identity. The body is kept at JNM's morgue. No one has claimed the body yet and police has appealed to the people to identify the body. Now, District Legal Services Authority Thaubal yesterday organized National Lok Adalat at Thaubal Court Complex. Three benches headed by District and Sessions Judge Thaubal Salam Imocha, CJM Thaubal Ojish Mutum and JMIC Lam Khulal Haukip settled 34 cases including civil and bank cases during the Adalat. The total value of the settlement amount reached Rs 30,69,000. Living Homeo Clinic and Pharmacy and Naharolia Pakol jointly organized one day free health game at camp at Naurem Lekai Community Hall. Homeopathy medicines were also given to the patients free of cost. Dr. Okramjeet said the camp was held to help the people affected by the economic blockade by Living Homeo Clinic and Pharmacy and Naharolia Pakol. Naurem Lekai, at least 60 persons were checked for diabetes, hypertension, and arthritis. Now, Manipur Olympic Association condoled the death of the former president of the association, G. Joy Kumar Sharma, at an emergency meeting yesterday. Joy Kumar was the president of the association from 2000 to 2002. Now, RPF has denied the report of arrest of its cadre by a team of Imphal West District Police Commando and six Assam rifles at Kaithil Manbi on the 8th of this month. In a press release, the outfit clarified that the arrested person, Ningthojam Lalit alias jo, uh, John, 43, son of late N. A. Bohal of Kaishampat, Laima Jam Laikai, has no link with the RPF and PLA. Now, the 11th Festival of Ritual Narrative and Performing Arts in Manipur, organized by Theatre Centre Manipur, kicked off today at Purailakpur Mandap, Haubam Marak, Ngangum Laikai. Speaking on the occasion, President of Theatre Centre Manipur, Vare Panaba, said, Various art forms of Manipur are on the verge of extinction and Theatre Centre alone cannot save them. 30 artists of different art forms, Vari Liba, Khung Jom Parba, Moirang Shai, Pina Pamshak, Kubak Ishai and Lairik Haiba Thiba are taking part in the five-day festival. The festival is sponsored by Department of Art and Culture. Lepa lai tani sa tari ba mang sila lava art form sing siwo kanjina bagi wakalon sa sang sila asita. Theta center matanda na maranayo na hari ba art form sing si hinggalan bagi iti kalsu le jadi adubo miyam hub na lairi ba agency ke amaru masi punchil le haraga. Aquame, I'm Changuna, Sigumba, Mankragadaba, Yamna Reroiba, Tapna Tapna Mansilva are pom singing, say, Yokan Nogi Wakalonda, London to the lady by Aque, Ipacha Ire Lusing Puna, Hupna Yawiner. Now, Blue Wing Malom will host a Spring Wing fashion event on February 18th at Hotel Yaisana, MG Avenue. As part of the fashion event, a road show will also be held to raise awareness among the people on free and fair election on February 15th under the aegis of District Election Officer Imphal West and Imphal East. The campaign will conclude at Kaibulam Jao in Bishnupur District. Speaking to media persons at Hotel Yaisana, Managing Director of Blue Wing, Khoisnam Nishikanta said, the fashion event will promote the designers of Manipur. 
लागत इलेक्शन से नियम चुमना फाव एल अपन लेतब भोटर खुद इसा की हक इसा की राइट कहीं नो है यहाँ कन् सदोली मेसेज पीब की पार्ट अमोना रोड सो चलने मनपुर लेब पाप मैम सौचे कंबी मनपुर फंगीब तांग पृथ्वी मूल फंगद्रीब संगाई है सजी मखल अच्छे कंसी है पाद वाइल लाइफ विंग फोरेस डिपार्टमेंट की मखाद पुनसनर एक रोसो चो रोसो चो पाठ रोसो नुमीब मोहनी कनागुब संस्थान नगनाइजेश बन चिंब तब निरी Now the two-day first Nepal East District Thangta competition 2017, organized by Luang Thangta Academy, concluded today at Khurai Kongpal Sajor Lekai Community Hall. President of Democratic Student Alliance of Manipur M Angamba said it is the people's responsibility to preserve and promote Thangta. Now few sports news. Neroka FC Sangakpam beat their rival at the seventh league match of the second division league on home and away basis, organised under the aegis of All India Football Federation. Hosts Neroka FC Sangakpam beat Hindustan FC Delhi by 1-0 in the league match played at Kumar Lampak Main Stadium. Neroka defeated Hindustan FC Delhi by 1-0 in the league match played on January 22nd in Delhi. Now KYFA Koirange have won the 30th sta state level under 14 mini boys football tournament organized by Thangmiban Athletic Union in the final match played today at Thau Ground KYFA Koirange beat Midpoint Sports Academy Pungdongbam 4-2 Mangal FC Kontha Khabam beat My My Bia Sporting Association Thangmiban Sinam Lekai by 5-3 to claim the under 17 sub junior boys football tournament Kraukam Namlayrak defeated Dynamic Sporting Union Kwakaithel in the 5th T20 Veteran Cricket Tournament. Winning the toss, Kraukam Namlayrak battled first and made 147 by 8 in 20 overs. In reply, Dynamic Sporting Union Kwakaithel lost all 10 wickets in just 18 overs, scoring 97 runs and lost the match by 50 runs. The all-rounder of Kraukam Nam Lairak Rohinder scored 37 runs and claimed two wickets and was declared the man of the match. Model club A Chingamakai and Kuki Sporting Club Lambu Lane will play in the 15th league tomorrow. Before we wind up this bulletin let's have a look at the headlines once again Political parties intensify their campaign seeking people's vote in various constituencies Large number of people attend chief minister's flag hoisting congress leaders conspicuous by their absence Union Minister Javaker claims Manipur will experience bans and blockades as long as there is Congress government. And Amuko celebrates 24th Foundation Day. Kaidan Mani stresses need for a strong government to resolve issues in Manipur. <laughs> 